Hey guys, Max here. This video is gonna be a short tutorial on how to back up all your Valheim files, your worlds, your characters, things like that. And it's also going to quickly explain how to access the public test branch on the Steam client. Real quick before we get into that, I did start streaming over on Twitch. I'll put the description down below. I stream things like Baldur's Gate 3, Valheim, and other upcoming games, maybe Throne of Liberty, things like that. So come on over and check that out. I hope to see you there. So let's get started. First, we're gonna go down to the search bar on the bottom left, and we're gonna type percent app data percent and then hit enter and then it's going to bring us here to this window we're going to be in app data roaming but we want to go back one window okay so go to app data and then this middle one here local low go to that and then iron gate and then valheim now in here you just want to copy all of this so i just shift down arrow right click all of this and copy and you can see i have my valheim backup folder right here on the desktop so i just Open up that, right click and paste it all in here. And I'm set to go. Now I can go and play on the public test branch and not have to worry about my characters or worlds getting messed up because I have it all backed up here. Then when I'm done with the public test branch, I'll just copy it all back over and then I'll, everything will be back to normal. So let's go learn how to set up the top, uh, public test branch over on Steam right now. Now we're over at Steam. We're just gonna go to our library down to Valheim, right click on that and go to properties. And then the fourth option down, which is betas. And we're gonna type in the passcode, yes, I made backups. Hit check code. And then there'll be a blue box that shows up letting you know that it worked. Come up here to the drop down where it says none and go down to public test. And you're all set. Now it's going to do, close this out. This is going to do like a short download. It's like a gigabyte long. Once you're finished with the public test branch, come down here to Valheim again, right click on it, go to properties, betas again. And then this long drop down box right here, you just click on it and go back to none. And then it'll do a short patch again and it'll send you back to the original Valheim game. Uh, and then we're just gonna jump into the main screen of Valheim and show you what that looks like now. And here we are at the main screen and you can tell that it worked if it shows the upcoming patch name, which is Ashlands this time. It might be a different name in an upcoming patch. You can load up any of your old save files or games uh, and not have to worry about losing or messing up anything because at the beginning of the video, we copied all of our files uh, or you can make a new character in a new map. And that's it. If you feel like I deserve it, hit the like button down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Valheim content and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.